Hi there, and welcome to the latest in our constellations. Today we're going to look at one of my favourite constellations, which is Cygnus the Swan. A bright constellation of the northern sky. Its name means the swan in Latin, and of course during the summer months its brightest star Deneb makes up one corner of the famous Summer Triangle. It has Messier 29 and Messier 39 and a few interesting deep sky objects including Cygnus X1, a famous X-ray source, along with the Fireworks Galaxy and the Pelican and North American and Veil Nebulas. Deneb Alpha Cygni is a blue-white supergiant. It's about 1,400 light years away and it's the brightest star in Cygnus, the 19th brightest star in the night sky with an apparent magnitude of 1.25. Deneb is one of the most luminous stars known. Sada, Gamma Cygni, is a star located at the intersection of the Northern Cross and its traditional name comes from the Arabic word meaning the chest. It's also sometimes known by its Latin name, uh, Pectus Galenae, which means the hen's chest. Gamma Cygni is a young supergiant believed to be only about 12 million years old, so it's using its nuclear fuel quite rapidly at the moment because of its mass. It's about 1,800 light years away from Earth and it has an apparent magnitude of 2.23 and it's one of the brightest stars in the sky. It has 12 solar masses and a radius 150 times bigger than the Sun. Gainer, Epsilon Cygni, shares its, the name as the same one in, in Corvus the Crow and it comes from the Arabic meaning wing. Epsilon Cygni is an orange giant and with an apparent magnitude of 2.48 and is 72.7 light years away from us. And Rook, or Delta Cygni, is a triple star. It will take over as the North Star around the year 11250. So that's got quite a way to go. The star system has a combined apparent magnitude of 2.87 and is about 165 light years away. Albiero, um, Beta Cygni, is the fifth brightest star in the constellation and it's a binary system with an apparent magnitude of 3.18 and the system is about 380 light years away. And Zeta Cygni, the yellow star 151 light years away, has an apparent magnitude of 3.20. Other notable objects are Bessel's star, Piazzi's falling star, 61 Cygni. 61 Cygni is a double star system composed of a pair of dwarfs, which orbit each other every 659 years, with an apparent magnitude of 5.21 and 6.03. 61 Cygni is only 11.41 light years distant from us, and it's the 15th nearest star system to the Earth. In terms of Messier objects, well, M29 is an open cluster, apparent magnitude of about 7.1, 4,000 light years away, and easily seen with binoculars. And M39 is another star cluster, between 200 and 300 million years old, with an intermediate age for an open cluster. And it's about 800 light years from us, with apparent magnitude of 5.5, so very easy to spot through binoculars, and it contains mainly main sequence stars. The Fireworks Galaxy, which is NGC 6946, is an intermediate spiral galaxy in Cygnus. It has an apparent magnitude of 9.6, and it's about 22.5 million light years away. Now, Cygnus X1, a famous X ray source, in fact, one of the strongest X ray sources seen from Earth. First discovered in 1964, it has a mass 8.7 times that of the Sun and yet is too compact to be any object other than a black hole. It's approximately 6,100 light years distant from the Earth. The North American Nebula, NGC 7000, it was named the North American Nebula because it looks a bit like North America. And to the right of the North American Nebula is the Pelican Nebula with an apparent magnitude of 8, about 1,800 light years from us. And it certainly looks a lot more like a pelican than, personally, I think the North American Nebula looks like North America. Well, that's all for our look at Cygnus. I hope you enjoyed that. Do take care. Dark skies. Speak to you next time. Bye for now.